A lap of the Sepang International Circuit begins with a long run down the track's wide pit straight. In 2015, the drivers were building up to 316 km an hour in eighth gear before hitting the brakes for the 74 km an hour second gear right of Turn 1. That long first right feeds directly into another 74 km an hour corner at Turn 2, which has been reprofiled and tightened for 2016. The drivers then hit the gas for the long acceleration zone that forms the right of Turn 3. Turn 4 is another good overtaking spot. Drivers arrive at 296 before breaking down to 96 and third gear for the right-hand apex. From there, the field accelerates towards Turn 5 before quickly flicking the wheel right for the 208 km an hour Turn 6. It's then a short run up to 265 km an hour before braking for the double right-handers of Turns 7 and 8, which lead on to another short straight. This run offers another chance to pass as the drivers break from 278 to just 72 and second gear for the tight left-hander at Turn 9. They then accelerate through Turn 10, which follows immediately, and that leads them into the tricky right of Turn 11, which is taken at 134 km an hour in fourth gear. Next comes the fast and fearsome left of Turn 12 and the 261 km an hour rapid right of Turn 13 before braking and turning simultaneously down to 99 km an hour for the difficult right of Turn 14. The final corner, Turn 15, has had its entry curb and camber modified for 2016, but it remains a 180 degree left-hander taken at 81 km an hour in third gear and is the final overtaking place on the lap of the Malaysian Grand Prix.